guys, we all know that we're gonna have this one month we will stay at home. So what I'm gonna do is I saw a lot of parents all asking for like, hey, do you have a sample schedule of uh, how you get your how I can get my child to be engaged during this uh, one month. So of course the good news is the schools, they are going to give us all the e-based learning, whether you are in primary school or etc. Or even the preschools, they also have some uh, activities for the kids. So uh, I'm going to help you guys have a little uh, better idea on how you can actually think and structure the kind of schedule that is specific to your family dynamic and uh, for your children. So I hope that you this uh, map, this mind map will really help you guys be able to think of uh, a better schedule, a schedule that is really effective for your children. So at, during this season, it's also really important and a reminder to all you parents out there that a very bored child will usually create the most problem, okay? So when your child is screaming a lot or they are like throwing things around, they are actually really telling you that they are feeling very bored. So during this one month, uh, what we really don't want as parents is uh, to have a screaming toddler or a screaming child at home throwing things or not listening to instructions. So what we really want to see from our children is to see that they are really fully engaged and they are really enjoying time with us. And you can also save your breath from all the screaming and, and stuff like that. So we want to have this uh, one month really happy and really effective. So follow me during this season. I'll be showing you guys how, some of the things that I get my child to do with me, like home household chores and etc. How to get him engaged and etc. So I hope this will be totally beneficial. If you guys like it, share it and have a great one month. So this is how I'm going to demonstrate how you can think of what you can get your child to do during this one month with your children around, your toddler, etc. So you come up with a schedule. This, this sequence is to help you think of a way on how you can think through what are the things you can get your child to do in a particular day. So we're going to split this into uh, different things first. So for example, sleep. So this is uh, the time that they wake and then the time that they sleep. So this is bed time. Okay, this is wake time. And then we also have nap time. So depending on the age of your child, they may have one or two times of nap in a day. Okay, and then you can think of scheduling food so when we think about scheduling food, we're talking about breakfast, lunch, dinner, and of course we're talking about tea break. So if you plan all this in advance, you will be able to have a better idea of how you can be more organized during the day. So you also will need to plan on what is the activity that you want them to do. So what if your child has only one nap time, you can think of what is the pre-nap activity. And then you have post-nap. Okay, so most of the people, whatever concern that they have is usually the activity that they, they can give to their children, right? So for activity, what are the things that we can give to the children? You can give house activity. House activity in this case means things concerning like house chores. What are the small little house chores you can get your child to do during this time? So this is one house activity. Then you can give them electronic activity. So what's going to happen is if you don't plan out the activity, likely a lot of children will fall under the category of electronic activities, which means they're going to watch their iPad, play iPads, or they're going to watch television. So we don't want that, so we're going to have a series of activities so that they can have a bit more balance during this one month. So we can also think of a specific play activity. This can be like uh, your Play-Doh, etc. Okay, a specific thing that you want to let them play. And then we also have 
outdoor activity okay for outdoor activity this is really up to every individual okay outdoor activity don't mean uh going to the malls and etc it just means maybe if you stay near the beach okay like i stay near the beach i will always bring the child children to the beach uh, to the more secluded areas where there's no one nearby we will go to the beach play some water blow some bubbles you can bring them down to the void there you can you can do uh, things like that okay so you need to also plan if you have more than one child how many children do you have how one child do you have like a infant or you have two children that is age five and age two years old uh, what are the activities that you want them to co-play together so when we talk about play we are also talking about independent play and we are also talking about bonding play where your children will learn to play together so this is the sequence that you can think about so usually what i do is I will have my child Samuel he is two years old now okay so what I do for him is I will plan out all his food categories for the day and then he sleeps at approximately from 12 p.m. to about 2 p.m. good days okay if it's not so good it's just 12 p.m. to 1 p.m. I will have an activity for them for him pre-nap maybe i'll bring him to go to the beach so he wakes at 7 from 7 a.m to 8 a.m he'll probably be eating breakfast changing just toddling around and then by then we prepare pack our bags we leave the house at about 8 30 we go to the beach we play we settle down etc so by then we are back it will be already close to 10 30 11 a.m which he can do showering he can start to prepare for bed for nap and then everybody will have a rest during that time so try to rest when your children rest or try to work when your children uh, are taking a nap okay so after he wakes we will have post nap activity so now because it's uh one month and there's a lot of things that uh we we may feel that we don't have a lot of activities for them so what i got samuel to do now is to do house activity so this is the one that i i i want to stress by giving them small little house chores activities that they can do like washing their toys they can wash their toys they can clean uh some plates they can help you carry laundry little little things that they actually can do which will uh, promote them promote uh, more vested interest in the things belonging to the house and and electronic activity will also include things like uh, uh, e-based learning that uh, the school will have prepared for us so this is how you can think of uh, planning a well all rounded schedule for your child in a day. Try not to do too many activities or try not to put them into uh, too long of independent play, like one full long hour, because they will start to be bored, they will start to do uh, things that they are not supposed to be doing because they are being left alone. So always keep them occupied in a very balanced manner by having enough sleep, enough time to eat, uh, some time to shower, some outdoor activities uh, will be able to fill up the entire day. So one of the pro tip for during this season is you have to try to make sure that they have early and healthy bedtime. If your child has the habit of sleeping at 10 p.m then you will feel very exhausted. So try to make bedtime about 7.30 p.m. So that you can have at least the rest of like maybe 8 p.m. till maybe midnight time for yourself and your spouse. So this is what I have for you. Ta-da!